Hi everyone, welcome to London. In today's episode, I'm gonna be taking you inside this townhouse just behind me, one of seven in this selection of new villas built just five years ago by Berkeley Homes. The design takes inspiration from the surrounding London Victorian townhouses and that classic London architecture, both on the outside and the inside of the home. It's got five bedrooms, five bathrooms, just under 3,700 square feet of living space, and it's listed for four and a quarter million pounds. So for any inquiries on the home, the agent's details will be down in the description below the video. I'm Tom, and you're watching The Luxury Home Show. We're in Barnes, South London, and before we head inside, I want you guys to have a little look at the street. I know if I was watching, I'd wanna know what the surrounding houses look like. We can see all of these original Victorian properties with the brick, the white paint, and the bay windows. It's all looking very beautiful. Now, an interesting fact about this street, the house just here to my left, to your right, actually used to be lived in by Emily Blunt and John Krasinski, so fit for A-listers. Let's head towards the house. So we've got gated entry here in towards what is basically your little front garden, and it's nice to have some green space here. Barnes is especially famous for its green space and its proximity to the River Thames, but having this right outside the front of your house is lovely. So when you enter, you're just refreshed. You've got all this garden space. We've got traditional style Victorian tiles, bay windows and pillars, you know, matching the look of the rest of the street. We've got this entrance here, but also at the back of the property on the basement level, there is underground parking. So as well as your permit parking at the front, there is a double car garage and another parking spot. So four vehicles in total on this one property, which is pretty rare to come by in London. Right, now come on in, let's check it out. beautiful day today but it is time to head inside so come on in one of the first things you notice that although this is a new build property we have the dimensions of an old townhouse look how wide and spacious the hallway is it's so light so bright and airy one of the things that was important to the owner is that you could see all the way through to that garden and I think this piece of artwork really summarizes the owners quite well one's from the States one's from Russia and they meet in the middle here in London so it kind of summarizes that really well this side table here is from the Conrad shop in the Emperado marble, almost an antique style, which really goes well with this room here. So come on through into the reception room. I like that they've gone for the Victorian style tiles again on the inside, just like we saw outside there. So this is the reception room, drawing room, a very typical room to see in a London townhouse. And they've really gone for that classic interior design style as well with the paneling, the bay windows with the shutters, and then this lovely plant here. A contemporary feature that we see in this room is the wood flooring. It's not that parquet style, it's a wide wooden plank. We also have underfloor heating throughout the whole house. There's an EPC rating of A, so it's incredibly energy efficient, something that you can only really achieve in a modern home. But in the contrast to that, we've got some more antique features. So we have the brass details that we see from the picture frames to the trumpet to the coffee table and the light fittings. Some very interesting stories about some of the, the artwork in this house. This is actually one of the owner's ancestors. Um, but basically, this guy was quite a bit older than his wife. So he waited a number of years to get the wife's portrait done so that she didn't look younger than him in the painting. How very vain. <laughs> and then the American flag was a gift from the wife to the husband um, and actually found in an antique store and is now framed. This also seems like a great space to play some music. You can close the door a great grand piano in here. Let's continue the tour. Straight across from the reception room is this closed tread staircase. Sweeping upstairs, we're gonna head up there later. There is also a basement that we'll head down. But first off, we're gonna head through into the open plan kitchen and living area. On the way there, we have this powder room, all fitted by Berkeley Homes when they originally built the property. All of the cabinetry is by Neptune, I believe in a nice, you know, that marble with the very traditional Victorian style fittings on the taps and the faucets. This painting is the third of the collection that we saw in the reception room. The owner actually joked that they started to run out of money when they did the baby's painting because the head's a little bit strange, but who knows, maybe that's what the baby looked like. So come and have a look at these. The paintings that we've seen so far is the American side of the family. And these are some from 1880, I believe, of the owner's Russian ancestors. 
amazing to have this much history of your own ancestry. The kitchen is designed by Bultaub, a German brand known for their functionality and simplistic designs. This actually isn't the first time we've met these owners while filming for the Luxury Home Show. So we'll link the other property where we saw another Bultaub kitchen up above if you want to go and check that tour out. We have a range of integrated appliances throughout this kitchen from the Miele, Combi, Microwave and Steam ovens, Gaganau stovetop. Interestingly, this is actually flush with this kitchen island. So if you come a little closer, you can actually see that it isn't raised and it's completely embedded into the, the countertop, which is quite a unique feature. We don't see that too much. This kitchen though, like I said, very functional. All of these cupboards here you can open up like this. You can tuck the doors away. So it all stays really nice and seamless, stays tidy, even though you've got all of those, you know, features that you need and require in a kitchen. Look, all of these come out. Great design. We have the freezer just at the bottom here, some freezer drawers, and then we have an oversized fridge this side. Absolutely massive. We have a filter tap, but also the Kuka boiling hot tap here. Super convenient. And then if we come to this side of the kitchen, we even have a Siemens wine cooler just here and tactically placed all of the wine glasses just here. So it's easy to go and grab some wine if you want to. The bar stools here are by Gooby and we also have a remote controlled, very powerful extractor fan up above embedded into the ceiling. So it's super seamless. A large portion of the remaining furniture is from Catalan Italia. This is the Royalton sideboard and it adds a nice bit of texture, especially with the lighting to the room. This is the Gordon dining table. It's a ceramic dining table, very indestructible. The owner wanted something where you could bring your, your hot pots and pans, put them straight on here and it wouldn't leave any marks. So perfect for a family home. She actually told us as well about this art piece. This home used to be the show home. One of the reasons why they chose this property from the selection of villas is that this is one of the end ones so as well as having a large floor plan this was actually the show home so this was one of the art pieces that was here the texture is all the same but she actually painted this over the top of it to create her, her own custom art piece so yeah very creative these mirrors are from hawaii some nice irregular shaped mirrors adds a bit of abstract art to the wall i suppose and then we have some bifolding doors at the back of the property here leading out onto the garden so come on back into the entrance hall. This is a local Barnes artist inspired by nature. We actually have the basement now, so we're gonna head down first before heading up to the bedrooms and check out the living area downstairs. Let's go. Tell me now, tell me something. Cause I don't know how this gonna end. Oh no. Coming down to the basement then, the lower ground floor offers further accommodation, another living space. So this would be an incredible family room to come and watch some TV, do some reading, or to watch the Luxury Home Show. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe so we can continue to bring you better and better house tours. And if you have a Luxury Home to show, the email will be on screen now for you to reach out for your chance to be featured on the show. Carrying on with the tour then. I love that we have all of this modern and bespoke cabinetry on this whole entire wall. So you have this real library feel down here. Again, a great space, especially over in that reading nook to pick up a book, get some peace and quiet from the rest of the family. I love this addition, especially with the mirror here, it makes it feel even larger, more spacious, more airy, but we have some light coming in through the window from in front of that bay window, just to your right. There's a great space to do some work just at this end on this desk. And if we come through here, we have some storage cupboards, but also a bathroom just here. So if you have a little look in, we've got the bath. Again, the Neptune cabinetry, some Victorian sort of fittings with the shower head, um, the handheld shower, and then those, those taps. We've got the paneling on the doors. And then just across here, we have a laundry room. So yeah, perfect spot to keep all of your laundry tucked away. This is also the second entrance to the property. So if I open this up, we have access through to the garage. So I think most of the time you'd probably be coming through this way. Let me just open the, the garage up. So whether you're bringing your shopping in, whether you've just come back from a game of rugby on the weekend with the kids, or whether you've been walking your dogs, this is a great place and probably the entrance you'd use most of all. 
So having the entrance here and then that bathroom so close, perfect for bringing the muddy dogs in and then you can go up to the rest of the house once you're all cleaned. Now let's head up to the first floor and start looking at some bedrooms. Now we switched to carpet up here. The first room we're going to check out is the principal suite where we have two custom dressing rooms with wardrobes and mirrors and then we have the bathroom through here. Let's go through to the bedroom first of all though. Really light and spacious here overlooking the garden to the back. I love that we have the shutters instead of the blinds in a property that's designed to kind of emulate the more traditional London architecture style. And then at this end of the bedroom we have the king size bed but also the textured wallpaper and I love these bedside lamps which appear to be a bit of a wicker style but they're actually metal you can hear from that noise but yeah I love them most of the lights in the house are from Holloways of Ludlow or from West Elm so check the websites out to see those not only do we have underfloor heating throughout the property on this floor the top floor and the other two floors that we've previously checked out we also have air conditioning so suitable all year round We've got a heat miser smart heating system as well so you can actually isolate the temperatures between the rooms say if one of you wants to have a nice cool bedroom while you sleep and another person wants to be nice and warm there's no arguments over the boiler and the heating now come on through to the ensuite bathroom let's check this out again the paneling on the doors a really large walk-in shower here behind the screen where it's tiled throughout the walk-in shower but outside we have the kind of matte satin style tiles on the floor which aren't too glossy then on the walls we have the more glossy marble neptune cabinets twin basins here with the victorian faucets great size mirror here and i also love that we have the led behind just creating some kind of depth here and some more interesting features up behind with that kind of glow we also have a freestanding bath just here again another traditionally victorian feature especially with the faucets and the taps there beautiful bath needed in a principal suite we've got more bedrooms to check out i'm going to go through this way past the staircase i love to look down these staircases maybe we'll have a glance from the top floor down again some pendant lights here come on through another very generous sized bedroom we've got the bay windows here that we saw at the front again with shutters and the same textured wallpaper double bed here side tables a desk area to do some work also got a bathroom so the ensuite through here the bathroom in terms of style is very similar to the the principal suite but it's a more kind of cream darker style in here more mediterranean almost rather than that really bright marble it's worth noting that both the daughters in this house are the ones with en suites whereas the son has the guest bathroom up on the top floor which i think is fair i think girls probably need the en suites more than us lads do so let's go check out the top floor now growing up i'd have loved to have a bedroom on a separate floor to my parents that feeling of independence from a young age starting in your own house is incredible so come on through we're going to show you the first of three rooms on this floor a great bedroom for a young girl growing up but any teenager would be lucky to have a bedroom like this looking over all of the london rooftops out the back through the the shutters here air conditioning yet again a nice space to do some makeup do some work and then the ensuite through here in a very similar style that we saw in the other girl's bedroom downstairs. So come on out. What have we got in here? Okay, so this is like a plant room with the boilers and stuff. Not very interesting, used for storage. Then we have the guest bathroom just through here. So let's show you this on the way through. I'll oh, have a look at this. Beautiful piece of artwork. Go for millions, that. So in this bathroom, it's not freestanding the bath, it's actually set in. Again, we have these Victorian style features, handheld taps as well. This is a more honeycomb mosaic style, but we've still got the kind of cornicing, like architrave detail in the bathroom. We've got another walk-in shower there with the rainfall shower head up above with the Neptune cabinets yet again. And then the sink here. All the toilets and the sinks, I believe, are Villaroy and Bock. Come on through, which room? Let's go in through this one. So I think we can tell this is the young lad's bedroom. I mean, the wallpaper speaks for itself, isn't it? Perfect for, for a young lad. And then we've got the shutters with a view outside to the front. If you were staring out the window, you might catch Emily Blunt and John Krasinski outside having a cup of tea. <laughs> Next door, there is a guest bedroom here. 
It's kind of hard to visualize it now because it's just a sofa, but this actually is a double bed. So when you've got another guest staying, you've got a whole nother bedroom. So you can flip that out and turn it into a space for them to stay. Now we've seen the majority of the house, it's time to head down to the back garden and check that out. Now these sliding bifold doors open up onto your private and landscaped garden. All the furniture is from Cane Line. We've got a nice fire pit here. Great place to spend some time with the family in the evenings. We've got side access around there from the front of the property. And then these, these slabs, these tiles, lead us down a pathway towards the back. We've got green spaces here as well inside the sleepers. Nice to have some grass, especially when you're in such a, a nice central position inside of Barnes Village. We can see back to the property there and the rest of the row of houses. It really is a very beautiful and sympathetically done new build, isn't it? We're also right above the garage here. So the garage we showed you is right below us. So it's a pretty unique piece of engineering. Let me show you something. Do a little spin. We have access through here, which is where you'd use your bins. But let's go for a bit of an explore. So this here would be your entrance down into the garage. You can see the slope, the ramp down there, and then we can see the back of all these terrace houses. Pretty incredible. Go back to the garden. Now, I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with us to see this beautiful townhouse today. If you have, be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new or if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Jazz here and welcome back to another episode of the Luxury Home Show. Today you're joining myself and Tom in Overstone, Northampton and we're going to be exploring just how much £2 million can get you here in the Midlands. Now we're used to seeing...